when backing a trailer, you can make corrections to reposition your vehicle by using pull-ups. Empty buses don't require more stopping distance than loaded buses because they usually have as much braking power when empty as when loaded. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two lane road? At 10 feet and 100 feet of the rear and 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. When should you use your high beam headlights? Whenever you can, providing the law allows it. In holding the steering wheel, what's the proper way to place your hands? Firmly with your hands on opposite sides of the wheel. If you have to set out reflective warning triangles by the highway, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. What are some things to do when you are backing your vehicle? Look at your path, back slowly, back straight back. What are some defects to look for in the suspension system? Spring hangers that are cracked or broken. When should you downshift for a curve? You should downshift before entering the curve. Besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, what else does looking for traffic mean? It means watching for the brake lights of slowing vehicles ahead of you. What's the purpose of cargo blocking and bracing? to keep cargo from sliding and falling and getting out of balance. Okay, we obviously have some audio difficulty here because I'm moving my keys around. Needlessly, I should say, but, um, oh God. So when you're recording something, don't be moving this stuff around, so. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and hit backwards and try this again. What's the purpose of cargo blocking and bracing? To keep cargo from sliding, falling, and getting out of balance. When you need to slow down, you may want to warn drivers behind you by lightly tapping on the brake pedal to flash the brake lights. When backing a trailer, you should turn the steering wheel opposite the direction you want to go.
was a major cause of most serious skids. Driving too fast for road conditions. Where should you aim when fighting a fire with a fire extinguisher? Aim at the base of the fire. When checking tires, what are some problems you should look for? Bad wear, cuts or other damage, tread separation, cracked valve stems. How do you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears? You will know by listening to the sound the engine makes. When using a helper to back a vehicle, your helper should agree with you on the hand signal for stop and the helper should stand where you can see him at all times. Wheels or rims that have been repaired by welding are unsafe. What are some items to check, especially before driving in winter weather? Check the coolant antifreeze level and the windshield washer antifreeze level. Besides watching traffic behind, what else should you use your rear view mirrors to watch out for? Watch out for possible tire fires. With respect to braking, what's advisable when pulling off the road? Try to avoid using your brakes until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. When driving, do you always want to be staring off into the distance ahead? No, you should sh be shifting. When driving, do you always want to be staring off into the direction? Oh my God. When driving, do you always want to be staring off into the distance ahead? No, you should be shifting your attention back and forth, near and far. At night, where should you look to avoid the glare of traffic? Eh. We're gonna make more errors now. We're gonna wait a second. At night, where should you look to avoid the glare of headlights from oncoming traffic? Look at the right side of the road and watch the sidelines. Why can't you assume your vehicle will clear the heights posted at overpasses? 
because some roads can cause your vehicle to tilt. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry level road? About the length of a football field or about six seconds. You want to turn right and you must swing wide, so you should turn wide as you complete the turn. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting. What does that mean? The RPMs at which you shift become higher as you move up in the gears. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting. What does that mean? The RPMs at which you shift become higher as you move up in the gears. What could rust around the wheel nuts mean? The wheel nuts could be loose. What's a problem with mirrors? There are blind spots your mirrors can't show you. What's the minimum amount of tread depth your tires should have? Four thirty seconds of an inch on the front wheels and two thirty seconds of an inch on all other wheels. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When driving downhill in a vehicle equipped with a automatic transmission, you should select a low range for greater engine braking. What are some things to do if you're being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure you know what's happening on the highway in front of you, don't focus too long on the mirrors. Exhaust system parts shouldn't touch or rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about five miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly.
When using your turn signals, what's a good practice to follow? If you don't have self-canceling turn signals, don't forget to turn them off after using them. When traction is poor because of rain or snow, how would you increase your vehicle's speed? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear at 10 feet, 100 feet, and at 200 feet. How often should you inspect your cargo? After every break during the trip, When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of you? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle length plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems which you have found with the vehicle. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on the steering axle? Underloaded front axles caused by shifting weight too far to the rear can make the steering axle weight too light to steer safely. Before starting down a hill, to be sure you are in the proper gear, you should downshift before starting down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when the tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it's safe to pass? Never, that's not your job. Never signal another driver to let him know it's safe to pass. What's probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour. Turned on brake retarders apply their power when you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. What's the minimum number of tie downs you should have? You should have at least two tie downs. Should you turn off brake retarders when the road is wet or covered with snow? Yes, brake retarders could cause a skid. Slight melting will make ice wet. What is more slippery? Wet ice.
at dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, when it's difficult for other drivers to see you, you should consider turning on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off. Speed limits posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. With your vehicle stopped, how do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure, and then hold for five seconds. When merging with traffic, you should look in your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter traffic. What are some steering system defects to look for? Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space needed to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of the load. Antifreeze is effective for hot conditions as well as cold. How many times more distance does it take to stop a vehicle when the speed is doubled? Four times as much. It takes four times more distance to stop the vehicle when the speed is doubled. What are two factors for knowing when to shift? using the engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distances? Empty trucks can bounce and lock their wheels. What's the only way to stop a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What's important about the center of gravity for a load? A high center of gravity means your vehicle is more likely to tip over. Is there a requirement to show the vehicle's logbook 
to an officer requesting to look at it. Yes, there is an absolute requirement for that. Before putting tire chains on the tire of your vehicle, you should check to be sure that the tire chains have no broken hooks, cross links, bent or broken side chains. If you think a tire has blown, what should you do to stop your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road beneath it, making the road appear wet. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. To keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up, you should partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. Why do you know, pardon me, why should you know what traffic is doing on all sides? You need to know you will have the room to change lanes or to stop. What's controlled braking? Controlled braking is applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Whenever you're about to pass a vehicle, a pedestrian, or a cyclist, you should assume that they haven't seen you. Convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors, but they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. What are three factors of total stopping distance with hydraulic brakes? Perception, reaction, and braking distance. 